Hey, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Wooly. But before we go any further with introductions, I want to say thank you to everyone for all of the support you've given this channel. It really means a ton, and because of that support, we are officially a partner on YouTube. So, I thought I'd do something a little different this time. This is my adventure. Wooly has been reborn with the goal of being a problem in Bounty Hunter. To do this, we will be relying on a handful of powerful items and a twist on a classic build. This being the Ibans Pier, but with access to Xenite Jewelry. The objective is to create a low-level account with good DPS and good durability. Thankfully with this build, there aren't too many quests that we need. But I would like to unlock the Ibans Staff as soon as possible. We grabbed some quest items and went to work. We scored a sweet mask and then dug our way into the sewer. With the power of teamwork, we completed Plague City. Next was a heist and a smuggling operation. That got the attention of the king. Biohazard complete. But there are still some levels that we need before we can move on to the next quest. We made a quick stop at Crabs to reach 25 range, and we now have all of the hard requirements completed. But it might still be tricky without higher agility. Not the best omen for the rest of this quest. But one arrow later, and we'd gained entry. Surprisingly, we also made the gap. Next was a painful puzzle. Trial and error was the only way forward. Ouch. So close. But eventually, we made it to safety. This next obstacle would prove to be the most time consuming and costly section of this whole quest. We would need to make it across multiple agility checks without failing. I still would prefer to do this over training agility though. All right. Time for a slight change in plans. We stopped off at the witch's house to pick up some quick HP levels. Quest complete, earning us four quest points. That also brings us up to 27 HP and 19 combat. We return to the obstacle course. But things really didn't go our way. I decided to take a break and work towards another goal. Here we are with 30 range. Next came some light cooking, focusing on food with high burn values. We hit 15 cooking and made our way to begin chompy bird hunting. Some parts of the quest turned out to be more challenging than I'd expected. We hunted the bird, made it to order. Quest complete.
we now have access to Chompy bird hunting. I wanted to pick up a few of the hats, so we stayed here for a little while longer. Before long, we'd completed a set of the single feather hats and unlocked the starting tier of the three feather hats. But I think that's enough distractions for now. It was time to attempt the pass once more. After getting lucky on the first gap, we pressed on with cautious hope. We still fell a bit, but we also found some success. We were finally past it. Minutes for you, hours and millions of gold for me. The quest helper told me to do it. Come on, Charlie, get up. Moving right along, we were able to safe spot the demon bosses. Well, almost. Thankfully, we received a care package from a member of the clan. With the law runes, we will need to complete one less obstacle. I'm pretty sure that the aggression mechanics have changed over the years, but I won't complain with a free win. We moved on to the final leg of this quest. First, we would need a set of Zamorak robes. And then, we would need to make the gap. Final gap. There is a god. And it's not this guy. Here's your gross doll. We were finally free to return to the outside world. Underground pass, finally complete. Now that we have the Ibn staff, let's go ahead and upgrade it. This will increase the amount of charges it has before breaking. This fee will have to be repaid to upgrade any lost staff in the future. Hopefully we don't lose too many. Coming in with a quick quest completion, Knight Sword. Granting us 29 smithing. Here we are taking a break from quests with my least favorite skill. This time, it's for the hard agility requirement found in Horror from the Deep. After what only felt like two seconds for you, we reached 30 agility. Thankfully, we can boost to 35. One lazy fight later, and quest complete. Unlocking Prayer Book, and also giving us some easy combat XP. We quickly picked up the collection and began training melee. After a short while, we reached 25 strength. Here we would be switching to attack. A couple of hours later, and we were finally 50 attack. With that level taken care of, we moved over to magic for the final requirement. 
And there it is. We can finally equip our staff. But before we could use it in Bounty Hunter, we would need to pass some time. Not long after that, we reached level 50 range. With plenty of time to work with, I decided on a trial run into the wilderness. Time to see how the Chin Hunters fare against the Ivan staff. First attempt spotted. The plan is to snare them, and then do wizard stuff. And then we should get loot. Fifty-four chins. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Another one. Big hits. And free loot. That one was fast. Eleven more to the bank. We tried having a couple of real fights, but nobody wanted the smoke. Soon, we will be able to access Bounty Hunter. Thanks for watching. If you want to join our growing community, I'll leave the Discord down below. Stay safe out there. Stay you.